Hi, new in Swift UI and iOS 17, when we build animations with Spring, we can specify a perceptual duration and additional bounds. In this tutorial, we look at how that works. Over here in this animation, you can see we are using with animation. What is new in Swift UI is that when you specify the animation with animation without any parameter, the animation uses a smooth spring, but we can customize this animation, for example, using a snappy spring or using a bouncy spring. Let's go to the Apple documentation. In this example, we want to use a bouncy spring. You can see here, the bouncy spring has these two parameters, duration and extra bounce. Over here, they have stated the base bounce is 0.3. So we can use any duration and experiment with the extra bounce, starting from 0.3. These two parameters are also available when you use a snappy spring. So you can see we have the duration and extra bounce. Let's go back to Xcode again. To customize the animation to use a bouncy spring, we can add parentheses here and put bouncy. And then we bring the two parameters, that is duration and extra bounce. Before we do that, let's preview the animation to see how it feels with bouncy without any parameter. I will drag the card to the right and just release it here. You can see the default bouncy spring is even bouncier than the smooth spring that is specifying the animation using with animation without any parameter. So I'll add a parenthesis here and specify the duration to be 0 0.5. Then we can preview again to see how it looks like. Then let's add the extra bounce and set it to be 0 0.5 as well. So we now have a more bouncier spring using the duration and the extra bounce parameter of the spring. So this is how you can specify spring animations using duration and the extra bounce parameter here inside SwiftUI. Thanks for watching this video.